you know, people have walked up to it and said, oh, it's country music television. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no. Which is part of the learning process, right? A lot of people don't know what CMT stands for. And from that, just bringing it here, it evolved into something even more because it just happens that there's, you know, an amazing culturally modified tree right behind us. As an indigenous person, what it does is it tells somebody that this is how the land is used. It's really important for the next generations to know that they too will be culturally modifying trees and that this is an art that we hope stays alive because it's not only that it shows us on the land and it tells future generations that we've been using the trees for, for many practical uses, for clothing, for tools, for blankets. We know that, you know, that one strip of bark that comes off a tree could probably make a few hats. It could make possibly a dress. Just taking, um, you know, simple plants and putting them on a pedestal and making, hopefully making people think about the importance of little things. Because we're just so used to um, just stepping over everything. I've walked in the woods with people that just walk on everything and they're like, well, what, won't that just come back? And it's like, well, any, anything that's small and delicate that you step on and damage will take another year before it grows again. I mean, even in planning the work itself, you know, it's like, how do we get it in here without making too much of an impact? Then we ended up rolling the logs gently this morning or rolling the, the pieces. You know, a lot of people never think about nurse logs in general. So to think about a nurse log and to help create a nurse log to speed that, uh, that process up. I think as humans, if we're going to do anything to speed something up, let's speed up giving the earth back what it needs as opposed to destroying, let's, let's do something positive. It'll be very exciting to um, keep coming back here and seeing how it's going to evolve and blend in and how nature is kind of going to claim it back somewhat. For me, it's not just the living that it serves, but the ancestors, the ones that came before us, the ones that witnessed, you know, the creation of, of this place that we know today, right? Mm -hmm.